gonna be a lot of slow progress. This housing, it's a five ton housing rear. You need two rears when you're doing this. Uh, it was sitting at John's shop. I asked to buy it off of him and he just gave it to me. So now we gotta make it pretty. Um, grinding this stuff off here, it sucks, but I wanna get everything down to bare metal. We started a little bit, but we're out of blades and our wheels. And uh, we're popping studs out and then we're gonna run a tap through them, clean all the threads and wire wheel and make the studs all clean. And then I'm gonna replace all the hardware here with grade eight lock washers and nuts. <clears throat> we're gonna keep using the studs. We're gonna clean the insides out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this whole axle down to bare metal. But this is night one and uh, I'm about burnt out. <laughs> so stay tuned. Night number two. Dose. Dose. Johnny got here, brought his little snap-on wrench. He thought it would work better. And we're pulling studs. Yeah. Got some more wheels, some $40 worth of grinding wheels. And we're going to see if we can make this thing clean tonight. So, uh, yeah. Oh, thing last video for the night. Night number two. Tackle this one. All the studs out. Got a lot of pitting here that we're gonna have to address, but this side looks really good. And the axles will be cut about right around there, just from looking at pictures and guesstimating. Still gotta do underneath. But, uh, what do you think, Johnny? Is it coming out good or what? It's getting there. All right, night number three. Our five tons are in these trash bags. We just tore them apart to get our side gears out and our carrier. And now, first video of our big old PS250 Rockwell Planetary. And we got Johnny here. Getting ready to disassemble one of these old girls. Who knows how long it's been since this thing's been disassembled. We already got a lot of oil pouring out of here. We've got one bolt that doesn't want to come off of this cover so we can get in here. But basically, <clears throat> when you're building a hybrid, from this flange out is all we're using. Nothing this way is being used. The only other thing we have to get out is we have to pull this chunk to get the side gears, which are there and there, to be able to weld them into our five ton carrier, which I can probably show you on this rusted out one. So if you look in there, you see those splines? We're gonna be changing those to the spline of this axle shaft. So this hub will work with this chunk, not this one, this one's locked up, but it's a good example, right, Johnny? Oh yeah. This is our steer axle, this is our front. We're back live. And Johnny has just got inside our awesome planetary, which looks, from what I can see, great. I'll show you guys our carrier. A little dirty, but man, everything's coming off, Johnny. We were nervous because of how big these are, but they, they kind of just look intimidating, but they're coming off very nicely. So that's what they look like. Now we're gonna get a sun gear off real quick. All right guys, I can't remember what night it is, but I'll throw it in here. It's a Thursday. We went out to John's on Tuesday, so two days after that. Finally got started on the other housing and let me tell you, this one was in such better shape than that one. But I know there was a guy in town that owned this housing before and he had painted it. And I think that added to, uh, the stress of doing it and uh it, it's got a lot more pitting needs a little bit more work but this one man oh my god i almost see my hand in there and yeah, not really i guess but still it is so clean i mean i can't come out of it so i just wanted to show you guys that now both these are about caught up. I gotta rip the studs out of this one. And uh, 
get it broke down like that and then clean this housing out because I think we swapped here. The outside was easier on this one. The inside was easier on this one. This inside is disgusting and it's been rained on, whatever, but we'll get it cleaned. And honestly, I love having the, the drums left over because I can literally just roll this axe however I need it when I'm grinding on it. This one, it kind of just stuck where it is, you know. Didn't do underneath of them yet, but we'll get to it. But damn. These are just going to clean up so nicely. Very excited, very happy with the work. I think that's, I think it's four days now, but we're getting there now. Well, we're back. A little spa day for the Honda. Oh, I'm sorry I haven't been recording, guys. You missed a few days out at John's. I got my buddy Wade out there to disassemble the entire uh, front axle. But uh, we're back at home base right now, so. Everything's starting to rust over, which I expected. Um, that one's actually holding up a lot better than this one is. But either way, <clears throat> we've made a little bit of progress. I've actually got all of the important quote unquote things in the garage you take them home anything that has to you know not rust over i wanted to bring it home and get to cleaning it and anything with a bearing so we got one of the planetaries the hubs disassembled and a lot of parts a lot of parts a lot of bolts and we finally got our magical <laughs> side gears out of the PS250. Um, so now you can see what I'm talking about here. These actually have to get welded in the five ton chunk carrier so that we will be able to spline the PS250 axle. Kind of confusing, but you'll get the gist of it when it's done. But it's just great to have two of them ready to go and be able to get them welded so just checking in i think i might end this first video here and uh start another one when uh we get going again so uh thanks for watching